This is amazing. Now we are going to see about Grip Tape. This is a modular Python framework for AI agents and workflows with chain of thought reasoning, tools and memory. In this, we are going to create multiple AI agents and make them work together. So with one AI agent, the quality is not going to be as good as multiple agents. And also with the power of multi agents, we can specify individual tasks to each agent. In that way, the output you get is going to be of more quality. In this, I'm going to show you how to create tools, how to create multiple agents and assign tasks to those agents. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about how to create AI agents using grip tape. The core components of grip tape are structures. That's where we create agents, pipelines to organize sequence of tasks, workflows, configure tasks to run in parallel. Then we have the tasks, tools, memory, and much more. You are able to facilitate interaction with external resources and services using drivers, and you have additional components. These are used for customization. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to create agents, assign tasks to those agents, and also provide tools to those agents. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. Thanks to Grip Tape for sponsoring this video. First, I'm going to show you how to create one agent just for beginners. And next, I'm going to show you how to create multi agents where we are asking those agents to perform a research task. So it's going to search the internet, get relevant information and write it as a blog post. So first one agent. So first step, pip install grip tape all and then duck, duck, go search. Grip tape all is the main package and duck, duck, go search. We are going to use that in our multi agent setup. For a single agent setup, only grip tape is fine. And then click enter. Now it's installing all the required packages. Now export your open AI API key like this and then click enter. You can generate OpenAI API key from OpenAI.com website. Now let's create a file called app.py and let's open it. Inside the file, first from grip tape dot structures import agent. Next, we are importing web scraper, file manager and task memory client. Next, defining the agent that is a single agent where we are asking to summarize it and store it in a file called the name provided. And we are providing three tools as we imported before the web scraper, task memory client and file manager. And finally, agent.run. And I'm going to provide two values. One is my website, mer.win, and the file I want to store the content, mervin.txt. That's it, only these many number of lines of code. In this way, this one agent is going to search my website, crawl all its content, summarize it, and going to store it in this file. Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. And you can see it's running it. It's using the web scraper tool and it's getting the content and it's stored in the memory with memory name task memory. And finally it got stored in Mervin present.txt file. Now let's open that file. And here is the file. And it's providing me latest information or the latest blog post which I published. And it's giving me a summary, as simple as that. Now we learned the basics. So next step, we are going to create multi agents to perform a research task. So first we are going to create a custom tool to search the internet, that is DuckDuckGo search. Then we are going to create agents and assign those tools to those agents. And finally, we are going to create tasks and assign those tasks to those agents. Now I'm going to clear this app.py file. So in this, first we are going to import DuckDuckGo search from grip tape, text artifact, local structure run driver, rule, agent pipeline workflow, code execution task prompt, structure run task, structure run client, task memory client, web scraper. So the web scraper, task memory client, structure run client are tools, code execution, prompt task, structure run task are tasks. So we are going to use these to build the whole system. So first step is to create a tool. We are going to create a function called search DuckDuckGo based on the provided keywords is going to search the internet and return top five results. That's it. Next, we need to run this function. To do that, I'm going to create a function called build search pipeline. So this pipeline will use the code execution task. That means this code will be executed here. So this could be any of your tool or any of your custom software, any of your API. You can integrate that here and automatically this pipeline 
will execute that and return the response. In this way, you are able to integrate your own tool into this group tape. Next, we are going to call the local structure run driver and initiate the tool by calling the structure run client. You can even use cloud structure run driver if you want to run this tool in the cloud, completely decoupled from this code. So this can be run from cloud. If you are integrating a large tool in this tool section, you can offload everything in the cloud. By doing that, your application is going to perform much better. So grip tape offers that facility. By entering Mervin Prisoner's discount code, you will get $5 discount, which is equivalent to 20 hours of agent runtime. Now we have completed creating tools. Next step is to create agents. These three agents, researcher and the writer agent. So coming to our code, step number two, creating agents. Build researcher function. In this function, we are initiating the agent class. That's where you define all the list of tools. Same as we saw for one agent. So here we are providing the search tool. That is DuckDuckGo search, then web scraper, task memory client. So in the rules, you're telling the researcher agent, the position is lead research analyst, the objective, discover innovative advancements in artificial intelligence and background. You are a part of a prominent technology research institute. And that's it. This is the whole function of building the researcher agent. Next, we are going to create the writer agent. We are creating a function called build writer and same as before, initiating the agent class and providing the tools. That is task memory client. Here we are providing the position, objective and background as variables, which means you can replicate this writer and customize it later when required, which I will show you shortly. Now we need to put all these things together. So if name equals main, then we are providing team equals workflow, initiating the whole workflow. Only here we are going to provide the list of tasks. So the third step is creating tasks. Step number three, create tasks. First, we need the researcher task. In this, we are calling team dot add task and in the structure run task we are telling perform a detailed explanation of the newest development in AI as of 2024. So that is the question or the task to research. Pinpoint major trends, breakthroughs and their implications for various industries. And here in the driver we are providing build researcher. That is the function which we created as the first step. That is a build researcher function to create agents. So that is a researcher agent. Next we need writers. So in this, we are going to provide a list with role, goal, and backstory. Role is travel adventure blogger and another role is lifestyle freelance writer. Similarly, you can add as many writers as you want and we are going to automatically create that. So next step, we are creating a list called team tasks. Next, we are creating a loop for writer and writers. Then we are going to append the task. So we are going to provide the same task to those two agents who are going to write it in a different fashion. So using insights provided, develop an engaging block. Then we are providing the context. That is the research done by the research agent. And again, we are calling the driver. That's where you assign the task to the agents. Here it is build writer. Before it was build researcher and now it is build writer. Now we need to add one more task that is end task, end underscore task. So this confirms that task is complete. State is all done. Now, final step, we are going to create team dot insert tasks and we are going to list all the tasks which we have just created. First one is the research task, team task and end task and then team dot run. That's it. So as a quick summary, first we created a tool where we integrate our own search tool. Then we created agents. That's where we're providing the tool which we created. So we got the researcher agent and the writer agents. And third step is to create tasks and assign those tasks to those agents. And finally, we are running it. Now I'm going to run this code. In the terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. And you can see it's running automatically. It's using the search tool, that is DuckDuckGo search, and researching on the newest developments in AI 2024. So after getting the result, the scraper tool, which is the web scraper, going into each individual URL and then extracting all its content. Then it's getting stored in the task memory. Then those information is formatted in a structured way and sent to the right agent. Finally, we get an output like this. Coolest AI advancements in 2024. What you need to know. This is the final output, which I copied and put in a PDF. So the coolest AI advancements of 2024. Corporate giants and big investments 
AI in media and everyday applications, transforming retail and commerce, corporate strategy and financial gains. In this way, you are able to produce a high quality output and you are able to integrate this with any of your application. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.